Aries, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me for your weekly general message with a bonus of love at the very end. Okay, so positive energy, positive energy for Aries for seven little days, angels. Seven little days, please. Positive energy, general message, general message for Aries for seven little days. Thought is it just seven little days. Positive energy for Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Come on, angels, what's going on? What is going on for Aries? One more from this deck. <laughs> One more from the Rider deck. One more from the Rider deck. Positive energy, please. Positive energy for Aries. Mm -hmm. Seven little days. That is it. Seven little. I feel like. I feel like that is it. There's a lot going on here, Aries. Uh, next deck. Next deck, please. <laughs> All right, positive energy angels, giving some love, giving some love for Aries. What is going on for Aries? What is going on for Aries? And my mama's deck, <laughs> my mama's deck. Positive energy, come on angels, what is going on? Positive energy for Aries for seven little days. Seven little days, angels. What is going on for Aries? Seven little days. Seven little days for Aries. What is going on for Aries? Seven little days, please, angels. Ah, seven little days. That was aggressive, angels. That was aggressive. Come on, angels. One more. One more for the main theme. There we go. Mm-hmm. And we need one more, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like that. I feel like, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now, the Angels of Light Deck. The angels of light deck. Angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy, please. Positive energy for yes, 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 yes. Positive energy for Aries. What is going on, angels and guides, for Aries for these seven little days? Seven little days, and we are going to give our bonus. That's right, for the romance, for the romantics out there. There it is. Okay, now, that's for the end. <laughs> okay, so, angels and guides, positive energy for Aries. Here we go. Main theme for the week is the temperance card. Yes, yes, yes. With accelerated motion. Five of diamonds, Eight of hearts and the angel of femininity. I'm picking up. Hurry up and wait. Okay. It's like the temperance is like you are definitely being patient in life, in whatever sector of life you need patience. It's there for you because it is, it's that old saying, hurry up and wait. So you're waiting and, and that is soon, it's like, it's like you're waiting and waiting and waiting and all of a sudden, boom, things start moving very quickly, right? Almost like be non-attached and let it fly when it's meant to fly. It will change. It will definitely change. And you definitely have all the power you are using with the angel of femininity. You are using your feminine wiles. Guys, you are using your charm to get what you want, right? And it's like, okay, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. And now here it is and it takes off so quickly. And I almost feeling like you're either going on a trip, you're moving, it changes of that nature, but whatever this change is, it's happening really, really quickly, okay? Now, when we look in the recent past, okay, we have the three of pentacles reversed with the solitude card and the jack of hearts with the queen of spades and the angel of blessings. So in the recent past, I feel like there was a deal, a contract of, of sorts that you feel like didn't, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out. You felt a little bit alone in this contract, in this deal, and you felt there was a sacrifice that needed to be made. What was that sacrifice? You had to go within and do the inner work, and there lied your blessings, the angel of blessings. Now, in the middle of the week, Aries, in the middle of the week, we have the sun card reversed with the movement choices and decisions, with the ace of clubs, two of diamonds and the angel of sisterhood. I feel that energy of back to the drawing board, right? Let's get back to the drawing board. So I feel like, yes, the sun card is reversed. It's like whatever that desire that you had, it doesn't feel like it's 
it's turning the way you want it to turn out, right? So because of that, you're going to have to make other decisions or choices, right? And I feel like you're starting something new, starting, you're thinking a new way, a new project, and things of that nature. With the Two of Diamonds, with a financial partnership, Angel of Sisterhood, I see that you are... I feel like there's a, there's a family member or a partner um, that you're definitely discussing this with, this back to, okay, that didn't work, back to the drawing board, okay? And I feel like the way you're going back to the drawing board, you're not like, oh, hum, no, 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 you're like, okay, that didn't work, next, what are we going to do next, all right? Okay, now, when we look at the end of the week, Aries, you have the Ace of Wands reverse with the Wisdom card and the ten, the Five of Spades, the Ten of Clubs, and the Angel of Learning. So by the end of the week, I see that there is, you're wanting to get something off the ground. You're wanting to get something moving, but it doesn't seem like the universe is like releasing it yet, right? You're like, I see you toggling with it. Like, I want it, I want it, and the universe is like, no, no, right? Not yet, not quite yet. The universe is of saying use your wisdom use your life lessons to to handle this situation right or to take care of the situation to make major changes in your life right and i feel like what you're doing you're going to be able to teach yes others angel of learning i feel like you will be teaching so whatever is not going in the direction that you want it to go this week it's like you're living your testimony you're working it out so that you can teach other people maybe you're going to teach another family member hey it didn't work for me either so i did a b c or d or maybe you're talking to someone at, at um it's like all of this is not meant for yeah, it's just not meant to aggravate you. It's meant for you to take this lesson and teach others, okay? Now, when we look into your bonus, Aries, when we look into your bonus, you have the Queen of Swords mm -hmm, with the Lover's card and the Chariot, right, 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 with the Queen of Cups reversed, the Ace of Swords, a lot going on here, the Crown Chakra, the Jack of clubs, the eight of diamonds, the ace of diamonds, and the angel of action. So your bonus is telling me that you're getting serious. You're not playing. You're getting serious and you're wearing your crown, okay? you you it's like you're not, I hear you saying, I'm not taking no for an answer, right? And it might have something to do with your romantic partners or your relationships, your relationships of the heart chakra, of love, okay? Of It could be love as in romance. It could be love as in a family member. It could, wherever your love is connected, right? I feel like, I feel like whatever you're, you're deciding um, to, stand your ground in script stand your ground in as far as this heart chakra this i want to say romance or or partnership could be a child a family member or things of that nature you're you're wanting it to move chariot you're wanting things to move quickly and i feel like with the queen of cups i feel like emotionally um you're ready. I feel like emotionally, you're definitely ready. Yes, for this Ace of Swords. You're definitely ready for this new beginning. And you're thinking, I'm ready for this new beginning. I'm connected to my crown chakra. You already know how it's going to end. You know with the Jack of Clubs, if there's any shenanigans, you know you have the power to push right through them and start this new beginning. It's either a new beginning in values or a new beginning in finances. Yes, the last card, angel of action. You are ready to take action in this situation. It seems like a lot of ebb and flow this week. A lot of yes, a lot of no. But in the end, I see you having the power to get through this. I have, I see you having the power to move forward. Like it's almost like um, it's it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. And you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. And all of a sudden it happens. And it happens so quickly that you can't catch your breath. You can't um, move. It's like oh my God, like, like you're so used to things not happening at a fast pace. You, yeah, you're like, okay, it happened when it happens. And all of a sudden, it just falls into your lap and you gotta hit the ground running. Okay, Aries. So that is your week. Now, let's, one bonus for romance, the silver waterfall. So I feel like in your romance, there is definitely um, a hidden a hidden lining, a hidden surprise within your romance. Like it's all, it's, it's like, you know, um, emotions. I feel like it's emotions and, um, 
feel like there's something behind the 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 waterfall, right? There's something behind that waterfall, and it's it's beautiful. I feel like it is definitely beautiful, but you're not sure what's behind that waterfall. You're not sure emotionally if things are gonna work out the way you want to. It feels like it is, right? It feels like it is, it looks like it is, but you're still wondering, is it? Yeah, is it? Okay, so Aries, I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.